In this video, we will look at how dictionary works in Python. Let us create a dictionary using the variable d equal to. We need to use a curly brackets. And within the curly brackets, we will be having elements separated by a comma. Each element will have a key and a value pair in dictionaries. So we will create the first key, for example, let's say USA and colon with the value. Let us give the code as 100, comma. The second element, let us use UK as the key, colon 200 as the value. And the third element, let us use India as the key and 300 as the value. Let us use a print statement to print the dictionary. You can find that the dictionary is displayed in the output. Now let us try to compute the length of this dictionary. That is, we will use print statement print of length of D. We get the result as 3 because there are 3 elements in the dictionary. That is USA with the key value pair, UK with the key value pair and India with key value pair. The values of the dictionary can be integers or it can be strings. For example, for USA, let us say America and for UK, let us use a list itself as a value. Let's say 200 comma, let's say London. And the value for India, let us use as a tuple. So since tuple uses parentheses, we will have the elements in parentheses. For example, let's say 300, comma, 400. Now let us execute this program or statement. We get the dictionary displayed. Now this dictionary has values as string, as a list, as well as as a tuple. And the length of the dictionary is 3. For sake of simplicity, let us use the dictionary which has simple key value pairs. To access the elements of the dictionary, we cannot use indexes. For example, we cannot use d of 0. This will give us a key error because we cannot use indexes in dictionary. So, therefore, we need to use a key. For example, if we use D of USA in square brackets, we get the result as the value, which is 100. In the same way, suppose if we use UK, we get the result as 200, which is the value of the key UK. The same way, if I use India, I get the result as 300. Now, suppose if we use a small case UK, we will be getting a key error because the keys are case sensitive. The dictionaries are mutable, so we can add values to the existing dictionary. For example, we can use D of, we need to provide the key, that is let us use AUS for Australia and let us assign the value as 400. We will first print the dictionary before adding the element and after adding the element also we will display the dictionary. So if you observe, First output statement, we have the dictionary with three elements with the key USA, UK and India. And after adding a US as the key with the value as 400, we get the dictionary which has four elements. So since dictionaries are mutable, we will be able to add elements to the dictionary. In the same way, we can delete elements of the dictionary. For example, we can use the del function del and use the dictionary variable provide the value of the key for example let's say uk you can find that the first statement has three elements for the dictionary and once we have deleted the key uk we have only two elements in the dictionary that is with the key usa and india now even in the delete function we will not be able to use indexes we can only use keys suppose if we use d of 0 we get a key error. To retrieve all the keys of the elements in the dictionary, we can use a method d.keys. This will give us the result as a list having all the keys. In the same way, we can find values using the values method. This will give us a list of all the values in the dictionary. 
We can also use iterators on dictionary. That is, we can use a for loop to retrieve each element of the dictionary. For example, we can use for i in d colon. Let us use a print statement to print the key that is i, comma, as well as the value that is d of i. Let us execute this program. You can observe that the key is displayed through the variable i and its value is retrieved through the variable d of the key that is i. So therefore using the for loop we can retrieve the keys as well as values of the elements in the dictionary. We cannot use a range function in the for loop for example for i in range of length of d that is the dictionary because range of 0 to 3. So i value will be an integer but the index of dictionary cannot be an integer it has to be a key. So therefore if we use range function we will get the key error. We can use membership operators for example we can use print uk in d. This will give us the result as true. Suppose if we use print aus in d we get the result as false because aus is not the key present inside the dictionary. Please remember that the membership operator in and not in only works on keys. We cannot use the membership operator on values. For example, we cannot use 100 in D. This will give us false because 100 is considered as a key and we do not have 100 as the key in the dictionary. So always remember that the membership operator for dictionaries works only on keys. Let us consider two dictionaries D1 and D2 having the same elements that is same keys and values. We will use the identity operator that is D1 is D2. We get the result as false. Since dictionaries are mutable, therefore even if the dictionaries have the same elements, they both have a different location in the memory. So therefore D1 is not D2. We can use equality operator that is D1 equal to equal to D2. In this case we get the result as true because the equality operator compares elements in the dictionary. Suppose if we have the same elements but in different order, we will try to use D1 equal to equal to D2. In this case also it gives us true. Suppose if I use D2 is equal to D1, use the is identity operator, then since D1 and D2 are now pointing to the same location in the memory, we get the result as true.